Yeah. So you guys want to hear how exciting my day was? Oh, buddy, as you guys can see, it is raining. Not as hard as it was earlier, but it is raining. And while it was raining, I was sitting in a garage waiting for the rain to stop because I was outside. And, <laughs> boy, oh, boy, did a lightning strike like 20 feet away from me. It was really close. It was so close that I could actually feel it. Like, it was like somebody took their fist and, like, hit me like that. But it was in the back because I was facing away from it. And it blew everything that was we had plugged in and all this other stuff. And everybody was like, ah! Because it was this huge bright light. And then, bam! <laughs> light and air thunder right away. It was exciting. Scary, but exciting. Was anybody else out there today online trying to pre-order their iPhone and had the hardest time ever? Adam was out there all day trying to pre-order and boy, he didn't get through to anything. Nothing at all. I personally, I want the white one. I'm not sure if I'm going to get one yet, first of all. But I want the white one, so, because mine right now is white and it just looks better, but it's not available on pre-order yet. So I don't even know if it's going to be available for launch, which would be ridiculous. Well, I think it's about done raining. And I know how much you guys like it when I go to the park, so we're going to try to go to a uh, very special park. It's near and dear to my heart. When we were in elementary school, most of us, at least, that lived in this area, went to this thing that was called the Mud Walk. And what you would do is, there was two days that it would be a two-day-long field trip. And you would, on the first day, it was not, they called it wet day and dry day. You know, the first day was a dry day. And so you go and you pick up crayfish or crawfish or crawdads or whatever you want to call them and you look at minnows and you look in the little river and stuff like that nothing real crazy you know you're just looking at the animals the fun stuff and then on the second day the wet day that's when you had to wear old clothes and old shoes and then you had to duct tape your shoes to your pants because you were going traipsing through the mud and we went on what it's called the mud walk where you just walk straight, just straight walk through mud up to your hips for the entire day, just for fun. There's no like, and there's no educational value to it whatsoever. They're just like, kids like walking in the mud. Let's take them somewhere that they can walk in the mud. So we're gonna go to this park and I'm not, I'm not gonna go walking in the mud because I don't want to, but we're gonna go check it out. See if we can actually like get in there. I know that I can get to the park across the street cause I used to play baseball there, but uh, Little League, not anything recent. But I don't know if this other place is actually open all the time. We'll see. I always like it when I'm the only person in places like this. It makes me smile a little bit. Look at this. What was that? Oh, it's a bird. See? Now this is awesome. <laughs> this reminds me of my times out on the uh, Appalachian Trail. We spent me... Adam, Jamie, and my dad, so there was something over in the bushes out there. Uh, me, Adam, Jamie, and my dad, all, I'm reading the signs, all, uh, we all went out for two weeks on the Appalachian Trail. It was, oh, it was awesome. It was very tiring. I got, uh, spiders on me. It was very tiring, and I, like, I, right as soon as I did it, I was like, all right, I don't really want to do that again, but I sort of want to do it again now, because it was fun. Oh. Man, I think I'm just like heading off into the woods now. What What do you guys think? This way? Maybe? Maybe not. Well, at least you guys are with me should anything go bad or go wrong. Because uh, we're just heading out into the woods right now. <laughs> oh, great. At least I found a bug in these crazy roots. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I just walked right into that spider. Probably going to turn around and head back the other way. I'm just glad that that spider wasn't at like face level because that would have been... Spider was like this big, it would have been like on my nose, and I'm like, ah! freaking out. Alright, this, this path is much wider, and hopefully safer. Nope, that banana spider was right at face level. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see him, but ran right into it with my head and my hair. I gotta start paying more attention doing this a lot. Jeez Louise. Yeah, let's just go down the wooden walkway. That way we'll know like that we're heading a correct direction. There we go. Okay. Much, 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 much better. Ah, okay. Good. Not so many spiders, I would imagine. Maybe. There's so many, like, pieces of spider web all over me now, it's ridiculous. Gotta admit, this one is only, uh, slightly way further out away from everything than all the other trails that we've been on. 
I don't think that this one goes in a circle. I think I'm just walking down a path to somewhere, and I don't know where. And there's all these little, like, side trails that go off. We might be lost together. It's always a good sign when you find a pavilion and everything, but I am no longer on the wooden walkway. Uh, I think I'm going to try to head back to it and see where it leads me. Tell you what, these spiders are everywhere. I've always known them as banana spiders, but I don't really know what they are. I don't know, they're all over the place out here, and it's probably not a good idea that I'm wearing flip-flops. Smart. What the... How the heck did I make it back to my car? Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Yo, did you see it? Let's go see if we can find it. We gotta be really quiet. I think... Oh, there he is. It's really funny because he's headed to the rabbit pavilion. That's comical. Oh, he ran into the bushes. Let's see what's in the rabbit pavilion that he was so interested in. There's nothing very rabbit-like about this pavilion. I think they might have lied to me. I mean, aside from the obvious rabbit that was here. I like this path because it's like, it's open, there's dirt. That means that there's not going to be any spiders out here. And they like tell me about what's happening. That's also, oh, right when I said that, there was a spider hanging down or something hanging down right here. What the heck? This is awesome. <laughs> it looks like an old abandoned school or something all overrun, but it's really just, like, bugs. This place is put on or, like, maintained by the school system, so it's just like a classroom. No, oh, look, a log cabin. Are you serious? That's a tick. I was out in the woods for literally, like, ten minutes and I have a tick on me. Hey. Well, we might have showed up a little bit underdressed for this place, so... Let's take another drive around, see if there's something that we missed, but other than that, we're going, because I don't like having ticks crawling up all on me. I was just leaving. I'm in my car, and I'm creeping up on some some rabbits here next to these red posts. Ooh, they might not move. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, no, oh, the window scared them. Oh no, they're still kind of around. Hooray! Nature. Man, this was one traumatic trip to the park. I'm going to get some ice cream. I deserve it. I think we may have just overstepped our, like, our comfort zone as far as going to the park. We're like, I'm like, let's go to the park. And then I'm like, hmm, let's go to an extreme park that's, like, not really a park. It's just the woods. And I'm like, I'll dress like I'm going to the park. I'm like, let's go play on the swing set. No, we're going into the woods. You're going to get attacked by spiders and ticks. But, we did get to see a rabbit, or two. I just really hope that I didn't go through some poison ivy or something while I was doing all this. This may have been a very poorly thought out, planned out trip. Ice cream. All those spider webs that I ran into must have had some sort of like attractant in them because the bugs are driving me crazy now. Oh my gosh, they won't leave me alone. Ice cream. I deserve it because bugs are getting on my nerves. So, I ate my ice cream and it was so delicious, but on the way back on the radio, they were talking about a story about Perez Hilton. If you guys don't know who Perez Hilton is, he is a, an internet blogger. He's just like a celebrity go gossip blogger. Jen reads his stuff all the time. But he's in a lot, a lot of trouble right now because of a picture he put up on his site of Miley Cyrus and it was like an upskirt, like maybe the wind was blowing or something. He's taken the picture down, so nobody, I don't know how, I'm sure some people saw it. And they know what it is, but I don't, you know, I don't have no interest in it. But the story is interesting because what do you guys think should happen to him? Because she's underage. She's only 17 years old. And here, you're not allowed to have anything like that until you're 18 years old. Once you're 18, everything goes, you know, full naked shots, no matter what. It doesn't matter because you're 18. But when you're 17, uh-uh, we don't stand for that kind of stuff. So... What do you think is going to happen to him? Some people are like, well, because he's like in the public eye. He's kind of like considered a celebrity now. And you know how celebrities kind of get away with stuff? Do you guys think he's going to get away with this? Or do you guys think that he's going to be sent to jail? Which I think is probably what should happen to, to him. Because he sh Oh my gosh, I got ice cream burps. Shouldn't have posted those pictures in the first place. I gotta take a shower because I feel so gross. Ooh, I feel 9,000 times better now that I've taken a shower. I don't feel like I'm covered with spider webs and bugs and ticks and fleas. I don't feel like a mangy dog anymore. I feel much better. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price. Gurgur Mesh, which is really hard to say. I feel like I've already said your name already. Have I?
I feel like maybe you got two pins. I think you have the black pin and the white pin. Maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. There are a lot of people's names. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna do three today. Okay. I got some mouth for war. What? Oh, you're in Oklahoma City. And you're this... Oh, I dropped all my papers. You're this green one right here. And our only South American viewer, Panda Express. You're in Argentina. I'm sure you probably aren't in Buenos Aires, but, I mean, you just said Argentina, so I put you in Buenos Aires. Hopefully that works out for you. Let me know if you actually live somewhere other than Buenos Aires.